Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today you join me, John Treads, where we are meeting up with Gary to go for an incredible spin in his thousand brake GTR. So we're gonna go collect the GTR shortly, so it'd be rude to not have a little look around the rest of Gary's collection whilst we were here. So in front of me right now, we've got this stunning Lamborghini Huracan Performante, one of the quickest 0 to 60 cars out there. Ferrari 458 Italia, love the look of these things. Super clean, just all white. Okay, guys, we're back at Gary's now. Just picked up his GTR. Uh, so, a thousand brake horsepower, never been in anything uh, this powerful. I mean, when you think and you look at the reaction that I had to the Subaru video yesterday, and that absolutely pinned me back in my seat, I'm really excited just to see how it goes. A thousand brake, crazy. Just look at that. All of the work on Gary's GTR has been carried out by Litchfield. To give you the breakdown of the engine, Gary has the LM1000 spec package. This features Litchfield's uprated rods, pistons, a whole heap of modifications to the block, their own camshaft, valve gear and port and polished cylinder heads. And the turbos themselves are Borg Warner 7163 EFR units that were originally developed for the IndyCar series and offer really quick response whilst cruising all the way to a thousand brake horsepower. This is with 1.8 bar of boost. This is a safe setup and the temperatures are always kept at a sensible range. The engine is fed through one of Litchfield's large race intercoolers which is double the size of the original intercoolers and features larger pipe work, shorter pipe lengths, all to aid response. The gearbox has been uprated with a full Dodson Motorsport gear set, so first all the way through to six with an upgraded clutch. So you've seen the spec list now and you can see the amount of work that really needs to go into these cars to get it over a thousand. I think there's so much with GTRs that you just speak to various owners and they'll always just call bullshit on you and just say, yes, yeah, 800, it's 900, but when you actually speak to someone who's had the work done to get over a thousand, you just realize that a map and an air filter just isn't quite gonna cut it. When you hit the 750, 800 mark, you really need to start thinking about the gearbox as that's just not gonna stack up. So getting stronger gears. I mean, in this car, we've got straight cut gears. You can hear the thing whining in there. What did you say you called third gear, Gary? Uh, Jade, because it whines so much, it's like the wife. <laughs> That's not your wife's name, is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Gary is a resourceful man. These wheels you've probably never seen on any GTR, and the reason for that is they're not even released for a GTR yet. These are the 2020 wheels for a Nismo GTR. I was saying to Gary when we was in his Ferrari earlier, <laughs> which has a funny enough statement to say as it is, the fact that he's got all these other beautiful cars, that normally I only like red on Ferraris. Well, that just so happens to be a great thing because this car is painted in the same red of all Ferraris. What a sick car. Right guys, that's enough talking about the spec. Let's take this thing out and just see what a thousand horsepower can do.
about so far, <laughs> just while we're waiting to have a bit of a, a space to be actually be able to pivot. I suppose the thing is, with a car this fast, you catch up so quick, it needs to be a good gap. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> need a neck brace too. Yeah. We're fucking, we're going in. Yeah, let's do it. Actually, we'll get a bit here. Yeah. I can't get over this car and I can't explain to you just how rapid this actually is. A thousand horsepower is an absolutely disgusting amount of power to have on British roads. But I'm not going to say that that's a bad thing. Disgusting, yes, but would I have it? Yes, I would. Problem is, with going in a car like this, is it kind of just ruins every other car I'm now going to have. Like, I may as well just give up this hobby and give up this passion because I'm never going to have this kind of thing. In my opinion, this is one of the best looking GTRs in the world. It has virtually the entire Nismo catalogue in terms of styling parts. So you've got the spoiler, you've got rear bumper, wheels, side skirts, front bumper, absolutely top drawer. The brakes are absolutely huge. It's a carbon ceramic set by Alcon, their CCX range. Trust me, this thing stops as good as it goes. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Ian, the manager down at Treads. Treads is a garage based down in Lowestoft on the east coast of England, specialising in tyres, brakes, and also offers a pretty wicked powder coating service for your wheels. I'll leave down in the description below contact details for Treads. They hold regular meets at Treads, which attract a huge audience, cars of all sorts of marks. They're trying to create a good experience for you guys as the customer. It's a super clean, professional, brand new workshop. So if you're ever this way, pop down.